All right, so let's pop the lid on this real quick and see what we have. Um, already I can tell this is just a little bit bigger beast than the uh, 5540. I've got two USB-Cs on one side and then two USB 3.0s, 3.1s on the other side. Um, back panel actually comes with a physical network port, which is a little bit of an upgrade. Um, Thunderbolt and then HDMI connection, not display port. So that's interesting. Um, also an SD reader. So let's boot it up real quick, see how fast it boots. Um, I cut the video a little bit. Um, it was taking a little bit of time. It took about 30 seconds, which is longer than I would expect. I can show you my password there. Um, but overall, boot times were relatively quick. So taking a look at the dock, this is the D3100. Um, we didn't show the WD19, I think it is, that was that we used on the uh, 5540 in the previous video. Uh, this dock is way, way better. Um, it doesn't use, doesn't clog up your only USB-C port like it does on the 5540, which of course you have two on the 7540. Um, and it's just a better overall dock. And the only trade-off is, of course, this dock that it does not power the laptop. Uh, also comes with an SD card slot. Watch me struggle with it here because I don't really use an SD card um, a whole lot except for Arduino and Raspberry Pi. So um, other than that, uh, this is a phenomenal step up from a 5540. Uh, let's take a look at what we have loaded on this. So a um, couple trade-offs. We wanted to get that RTX 3000 as we mentioned in the previous video. So to keep us under budget, uh, and that's under 3000, we actually got this for less than 2400. Um, and so this, this was hundreds of dollars less. So the trade-off was, of course, uh, we wanted the RTX 3000 at a minimum. Uh, we ended up going with 32 gig of RAM instead of 64. And we ended up going with the Micron um, half terabyte by 12 terabyte N NVMe um, card. So it's, you know, half the size of the hard drive, um, which is okay because there is another slot available for another half terabyte. Um, and then we went with the i7 9750H uh, 2.6, and I believe that almost gets to 5 gigahertz. Um, and we haven't even hyperthreaded it yet, and this thing is absolutely a performer. If you take a look at the benchmarks from Geekbench, um, this absolutely annihilates um, what we were looking at in the 5540. Uh, just everything's just a little bit higher. Um, obviously, the graphics card is what we were after. That's that's really what is performing and outperforming the 5540 spec that we had in the previous video. So um, let's take a look at that RTX 3000, which of course, again, the upgrade here um, is that now you're able to do Tensor. So you're able to do um, AI development on this. You're able to do VR um, on this um, because this is the minimum card on a laptop now to be able to do VR. You, you wouldn't be able to do that in a 5540 with the T2000 card, which is the highest card that you can get in that laptop. Um, for this, this is a laptop I would buy personally. Um, this is a great value. I think we just ticked in over 2400. If you watched the last video, we're well past the 3000 mark um, on the 5540, and this is outperforming it. Uh, so that's pretty pretty interesting, given the fact that uh, this has a little bit less horsepower in the processor, a little bit less hard drive, and a little bit less RAM. Um, that's kind of an, almost embarrassing that we're able to save. Uh, closing in on $1,000, we would have made one last change. So with that, um, everybody take a look at the 7540 um, with the specs listed below in the link. And, uh, be sure to subscribe and help, help our channel keep growing. Thanks, everyone.